everyone. I'm back, my name is Joe, and you're at the Joe is Hungry channel, where we take existing ingredients, move them around, add a significant upcharge, call it something new, right here within the city limits of Fairmount, Georgia. Shout out to Alex, Asher, Andrew, Abby, Dylan, Dylan, and Eva, Finn, Kevin, Jalen, and Joyce, Nathan, Wadham, Timmy, and Sophie, Saw, Lilac, Rebby, Ron, and Nick. I want to wish a very special, hungry, happy birthday to each and every one of you. When I put out my food poll this week, I was thinking y'all were gonna send me off for a juicy burger or maybe some barbecue. However, the people have spoken and they have different ideas because you're remanding me to the drive-thru at KFC to check out their so-called new menu item, the smashed potato bowl, and in my case, with nuggets. Each bowl is made with seasoned fries, warm mashed potatoes, bacon crumbles, a three cheese blend, KFC special cheese sauce, whatever that is, and five crispy chicken nuggets. Each one of these orders with nuggets will drop 760 calories right in the middle of your daily diet. Unfortunately, KFC couldn't be bothered to post any other nutritional information or serving weights on their website. I messaged customer no service asking them for the nutritional information and they said, oh, we only take customer complaints. So then I told them I was complaining they didn't have any nutrition information on their website. So then they agreed to make out a trouble ticket. I waited a few hours. I got a message back linking me to the same useless information. I then called the corporate office up in Corbin, Kentucky and was told that the web guys work at their own pace and there's really nothing else that could be done. You just can't make this stuff up. So web guy from the Joe is Hungry channel to you. Get it done or get off the pot. Yum Foods, KFC, whatever you're paying these guys, I guarantee you, it is way too much. Speaking of paying, each single bowl without the nuggets will cost you $3.49. The potato bowl with nuggets will bleed you for $6.99. Make it a combo for $7.29 before taxes in Georgia, and that will only get you a drink. Even without the nutritional information or the weights, there is no hiding because here at the Joe is Hungry channel, we're gonna break out the scales, weigh them, and calculate the actual out the door fast food price per ounce, but not before we roll the drive through ad. KFC in Calhoun, Georgia. Welcome back to KFC. Would you like to try our $20 taste of KFC milk or a smashed potato bowl? Order when you're ready. I want uh, three smashed potato bowls with nuggets. Three smashed potato bowls with nuggets. You want drinks? And no drink. I see ya. How are you today? I'm doing very well. How are you? Oh, doing pretty good. Have you had this yet? No, ma'am. Oh, it's good. We're gonna see. I've got my tater bowls. Let's go off to the side. Do the Joe is hungry temperature test. Mashed potato bowl number one comes in at 179.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Mashed potato bowl number two comes in at 179.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Mashed potato bowl number three comes in at 171.7 degrees Fahrenheit. KFC, Calhoun, Georgia. Now you're showing me the kind of temperatures that I like to see. So today, you pass with flying colors. The Joe is hungry. Temperature test. So now it's time to peel back the layers, take a closer look, fire up the scales, get ready for a major slashing event, head back to the studios, and do the Joe's Hungry weight test. And in this channel, we take off for the packaging. But before I go any further, I would like to say Will Neff, Emmy Roo, I appreciate you bringing me into your stream. I had a good time and I am forever in your debt. With that being said, now it's time to set the chair on the scales. Potato bowl number one weighs in 11.60 ounces. Potato bowl number two weighs in 11.00 ounces. Potato bowl number three weighs in at 11.45 ounces or 324 grams. Well, all the weights are pretty close. KFC, Calhoun, you did pretty good because today you pass the Joe is Hungry consistency weight test. Now we kind of got screwed on the nutritional information in the serving weights, so there's really nothing else I can do except add them all up, average them out, do the math, and you come up with a middle of the road, not unreasonable, 62 cents an ounce. So now it's time to do the one and only, the Joe is Hungry big reveal.
This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is KFC's puffed up photo of what it should look like. We've seen what it looks like, we saw how much it was, and it's actually really not that bad of a price. And as far as the ad photos go, it's not too terribly far off, even for KFC. But that only leaves one more test, and that would be the one and only, the Joe is Hungry Bite Test. So it is Bite Test Engage. If it hadn't been for the chicken, I would have probably passed this thing by. The two starches together seem kind of weird and actually just a little bit dry. Maybe somebody over at KFC kind of had a brain fart and let the web guy help. I mean, why not? He's not really doing anything else, is he? It's the large amount of cheese that they put on this thing that keeps this thing from being too starchy. And I'm not really sure why they put french fries in it with the mashed potatoes. I really don't think it does anything for the taste. And the chicken nuggets actually made out of real breast meat kind of make this into a semi-tolerable, savory little snack. Let's not forget about Shadow Joe. He's been a little bit testy lately. So let's go ahead and do the Joe is Hungry Sneak-a-Doodle Bite with spork in hand. Sneak-a-Doodle Bite number one. Sneak-a-Doodle Bite number Sneak a doodle bite number two. Sneak a doodle bite number three. You think you can kind of try and keep that in your mouth? Look, do you want to start doing this? I'm just about up to here. Disgusting. Pig boy. Start again. Mm. Definitely up to temperature. A little bit starchy, the cheese kind of makes up for a little bit. I caught a little bit of a heat in there somewhere. I don't know if that was a one-time thing. Let's move on with this video. Well, after we got together, talked it through, kissed and made up, shared some secrets, we decided that this thing actually does travel relatively well. You can take it home, throw it in the fridge, leave it overnight, microwave it. It might be a little bit starchy, but it'll still be okay. So now it's time to give this thing a score. If you don't know my scale, my scale is one to 10, nine being the best. Anything above nine is a once in a lifetime experience and almost never achieved, five and down. Is that all too familiar? Slippery slope to the pits and depths of fast food hell. So let's go ahead and give this the number that it truly deserves. KFC. Two starches, really? At least you had the good sense to put a ton of cheese on it to try to mask that. As far as execution, I can see no faults there. Been nice if I had the nutritional stats. KFC, you never did answer me. Anyway, <clears throat> this isn't a bad snack. I kind of like it. So, KFC, I'm gonna have to go 5.9. That is my number, this is my review, and hopefully I will see you in the next video.